हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मनप्रीत फॉर नर्सिंग स्कोप सो मोस्ट वेलकम इन एम्स लास्ट मिनट प्रेपरेशन सीरीज एंड दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर द 25 मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम ओबीजी नर्सिंग सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट सो डेट यू रिसीव ऑल लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव गोल्डन स्कोप फॉर नॉट सेट एम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड हेयर इज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट the hormone responsible for development of ovum is a fsh fsh is a follicle stimulating hormone and this is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland and this fsh is stimulate the growth of the follicles so next scoop is the golden color of amniotic fluid is due to rh incompatibility while the green colored amniotic fluid is seen in case of meconium staining and greenish yellow color is seen in case of post maturity and dark colored amniotic fluid is seen in case of intrauterine death so with this moving to our next important point the additional amount of calories required by a pregnant woman as per who is 300 calories and the next important point is the commonest cause of pph that is a postpartum hemorrhage is atonicity of uterus so next point is the ovum remains viable for 24 hours after being released from the ovary and the test used to find out the number motility and activity of sperm is a munner test and it is a post coital test so next scoop is there are the two arteries and one vein in umbilical cord so umbilical cord contains the three vessels from which the two are arteries and one is vein and here the arteries contain deoxygenated blood and vein contains a oxygenated blood so our next scoop is the fertilization occurs in ampulla of the fallopian tubes so with this moving to some important signs of pregnancy so first is a presumptive or subjective signs of pregnancy so these signs are include amenorrhea nausea vomiting urinary frequency and quickening so this quickening is the first perception of the fetal movement by the mother and this generally occurs at 16 to 20th week of gestation so next is the probable signs or objective signs of pregnancy so these are the uterine enlargement hager sign Goodell sign, Chadwick sign, and Braxton Hicks contractions. So these signs are very very important in the exams. They can ask about what is Hager sign, what is Goodell sign, what is Chadwick sign. So this Hager sign is a softening of the lower uterine segment, and this generally occur at six weeks of pregnancy. And this Goodell sign is a softening of cervix, and this occurs around the beginning of the second month of pregnancy. and this chadwick sign is a violet discoloration of mucous membrane of cervix vagina or vulva and this generally occurs at about fourth week of pregnancy and braxton hicks contractions are the irregular painful contractions so positive signs of pregnancy are fetal heart rate and active fetal movements so this fetal heart rate detected by doppler transducer at 10 to 12th week of gestation and by fetoscope at 20th week of gestation and the active fetal movements are palpable by the examiner so with this moving to our next important point the nausea and vomiting may occur as a result of hcg and this nausea vomiting usually subsides by the third month of pregnancy so moving to our next important point at 16th week the fundus found halfway between symphysis pubis and umbilicus at 20 to 22nd week of pregnancy the fundus lies at umbilicus and at 36th week of pregnancy the fundus is found at z5 process of the sternum so with this moving to our next important point the cardinal signs of preeclampsia are hypertension generalized edema and protein urea so our next important point is help syndrome so in the help syndrome the h stands for hemolysis el stands for elevated liver enzymes and lp stands for low platelet count so this help syndrome is a rare but life threatening condition in a pregnancy and usually this is linked to the preeclampsia so in case of prom that is premature rupture of membrane avoid the vaginal examinations and this is to reduce the risk of infections so next is 
फॉर्न टेस्ट इज यूज टू डिटर्मिन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अम्नियोटिक फ्लोइड लीकेज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज प्लेस द पेशेंट इन ट्रेंडल वर्क पोजिशन इन केस ऑफ अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड प्रोलैप्स सो विद दिस मूविंग टू आर लास्ट पॉइंट दैट इज अबाउट प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया एंड अब्रप्शो प्लेसेंटा सो सडन ऑनसेट ऑफ पेनलेस ब्राइट रेड वजाइनल ब्लीडिंग एंड सॉफ्ट नॉन टेंडर यूट्रस आर द साइंस ऑफ द प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया एंड डार्क रेड कलर वजाइनल ब्लीडिंग यूट्राइन पेन टेंडरनेस एंड रिजिडिटी आर द साइंस ऑफ अब्रप्शो प्लेसेंटा so the main difference between signs of these two are in the placenta previa the bleeding is painless and the uterus is very soft and non tender and in case of abruptio placenta uh, there will be the uterine pain along with the rigidity and tenderness of the uterus okay friends so please like and share this video with your friends who are going to appear for not set aims 2020 and please don't forget to put your feedback in the comment section so very soon we'll see you in my next video so till that time stay tuned stay safe thank you